Alright guys, so in this video, we're gonna be unboxing the new Insta360 Twin Edition. It's the new 1R. Now, I know this camera has been out for a couple of weeks. It's been sent to multiple YouTubers, but unfortunately, apparently this thing was recalled for some reason. I think it has something to do with the app. So I'm not sure if this camera right now that I got today was before the recall or after the recall, but yeah, I just got this today from China and I'm hoping it's the one after the recall. All right, so that being said, let's go ahead and unbox this camera, the twin edition. I know, like me, a lot of people were confused when this thing came out. It was just confusing how it was released. The commercial was kind of weird. So basically when I bought this thing, I wasn't really paying attention and I'm gonna tell you a little story in a second. So in the box, you're gonna see the 4K edition camera. It's kind of like a GoPro. In the middle is the 360 mod, which I'm pretty excited about. It's pretty much the reason why I got it. And in the bottom is just a little battery compartment. So let's go ahead and remove those and I'll show you that to you a little bit clearer. So like I said, here, this thing on the left that you see is the lens and I can actually remove this if I want. There. You can just remove it just like that. So this little piece of camera lens is the actual 4K GoPro-ish action camera. This right here is the core. You're gonna need this thing for this to work. So that's that. And here is the 360 module. So you're gonna see it has a lens right there and it has a lens on the other side. So it's pretty much two 180s back to back to capture a full 360 VR. Again, you're gonna need the core for this to work. So let's go ahead and remove some plastics. All right, so how it works is you just pretty much put it together. And now you have a 360 module. And it's called the Twin Edition, like I said, because you get both. If you wanna just shoot a 4K flat, non-360 video, you can use this. But if you want a 360 video, you can use this. Now, after that, you're just gonna put it in this little battery compartment. And that's pretty much it. Now you have a 360 VR camera. It's, it's pretty incredible how small this thing is. So let's go ahead and put it to the side so we can take a look at what else is in the box. So inside this white box, we're gonna find a couple of accessories. First things first, a charging cable for the camera itself. Second thing you're gonna find is this little lock, king, uh, lock screw with this little thing, which is similar to GoPro. And then inside, you should be able to see a little case or bracket or cage, whatever you want to call it. So it pretty much protects the camera, but it also lets you mount the camera. Without this, you're not going to be able to mount this unless you Velcro it or tape it to something. So you will need this casing for you to be able to mount it on anything. Uh, it comes with a 360 lens cap, which is nice. So, you know, if you have booger fingers, you can just cover it like that. That's pretty sweet. And already got that. You got some stickers, manuals, and a little wipe there for you. And that's pretty much what is all in the bag. Now, confession time. When I first saw the Insta 361R commercial, I pretty much just rushed to buy the cheapest thing out of the Insta 361R store. And unfortunately, I bought the wrong thing. Now, when I watched the commercial, I knew what I wanted. I wanted a 360 camera, VR camera, like the Insta361X. But I also wanted to get the aerial mount so I can put it on a drone and get a 360 drone video. Well, that's the case. That's where I messed up. So, fair warning guys, if you're looking into buying an Insta361R for the sake of a drone video, do not get the twin edition whatsoever. Because if you do, you're gonna have to spend $349 more because you're gonna have to get uh, an extra spare accessories for this edition right here. So on top of this camera, this set, which is 479 bucks, if you wanna mount this on a drone and have that invisible drone look, you're gonna have to purchase an extra accessory that's gonna cost you $349. Now, I should have looked this up, but I'm an idiot. I usually just buy stuff without even reading that much into it. But if you look at this mod, and I'm gonna show it to you real quick. If you look at this mod, 
and you look at the invisible drone mount that Insta360 ONE R people are also selling, you're gonna see that the camera on the 360 cameras are actually split between the top and the bottom. You can't split this in half. So that's where I kinda screwed up in. So for me to put this on a drone and have that invisible drone 360 VR video, not reframe videos, I'm talking about 360 VR, you can look around in a whole video, I bought the wrong thing. So if you're planning to just putting this on a drone and getting the 360 video as well, you might as well buy the $549 aerial edition for Mavic 2 or Mavic Pro. Now on the Mavic 2, as far as I'm reading, you're gonna lose out your GPS capability on a drone if you get that. But if you get the Mavic Pro, which is the older version, you should be able to use your GPS still even when flying with the mount. So just a recap, twin edition, bad idea if you're trying to put this on a drone and get a 360 VR. And I know a lot of people are probably laughing at me right now because I bought the wrong freaking thing. I honestly can care less about this little camera right here, which is technically just a GoPro. I just wanted a 360 VR video that I can mount on a drone because that looks freaking amazing. All right guys, so that's just pretty much a really quick video of me unboxing the Insta360 ONE R. I am gonna be shooting a lot with this camera this weekend and actually shoot some real 360 VR because a lot of people out there right now are just shooting freaking 180 flat uh, reframe videos using a 360 module. In my opinion, that's not what this is for. What this is for is really VR videos so you can look around in. But majority of the people that have this camera right now and are uploading stuff are just reframe videos, which is totally stupid in my opinion. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know and I will see you guys later.